Welcome to this Synthesia AI tutorial, so you can make AI videos without showing your face. In a minute, I'll show you how to create a full AI video with just one prompt, how to use the new expressive avatars with emotion, how to customize the entire video to be a perfect video for you, and how to clone yourself in high quality and the new AI voice clone feature. So by the end of this video, you'll be able to use Synthesia like an expert. First, go to Synthesia.io. As you can see, turn text into video in minutes and all you need to do to get access is to click on create a free AI video. Now that you're on the inside, you can see all the features of Synthesia, including the expressive AI avatars that I'll focus deeply on in this video. And in the side, you see that we have brand kits, avatars and voices that I'll also show you. But just to begin, click on new video in the top right. Here you can see that you can start from a blank video where we start from scratch with a blank canvas, AI video assistant that converts docs, PDFs, websites, or ideas into videos, or even import your PowerPoint to convert slides to scene backgrounds. Now, I wanna start from a template because it's quite a lot easier. And after the expressive avatars, they've also created a bunch of new templates here that I think look really good. I think this sleek corporate video template looks really good. So I'm gonna click on generate. Next, you can see that we can have a source of a web link. We can select a document here with PDF, Word, TXT, or PowerPoint. And finally, an idea that we can write with AI. I want to make a presentation about how to prepare for a post AGI world. And then I'll select the length. As you can see, we can go all the way up to 23 scenes. We're gonna keep it on eight for now for this demonstration. And then we can click on objective, audience, language, speaker, and tone. So the objective here is like educate people on the importance of learning AI tools and getting new skills that will be applicable in the post AGI world. We'll select audience here where we'll do business owners and content creators. Language will select English, but they have many different languages that you can use and we can even translate it after the fact. So we'll keep it on English for now speaker, an AI expert, and tone, we can do informational. Then all you need to do is click on generate video. As you can see, it quickly starts writing the script for us and creating the scenes for us, but we can obviously go to the next step, which is to edit the video. So we'll just click on continue in editor. And as you can see, we're landing on this very simple to use editor. I'll show you everything it can do right now. First, we're gonna click on the avatar here. And as you can see, we're using this JSON V1, which is not an expressive avatar. Everyone that is expressive has this symbol next to it. So we have a bunch of different people to choose from. In this scenario, I believe we can go with Ada by just clicking here. But actually, that's not what we're going to do. We're going to go to the side here and click on replace avatar, change it with Ada here. So we don't have two avatars. So far, it's looking really good. You can also see that you can create your own custom avatar in just a few steps that I'll show you a little later. But I'm actually pretty happy with this design here. So I'm gonna click on scene number two to show you. I actually really like this one as well. Let's jump to this one where I can show you off the space feature. So Synthesia has many different backgrounds that you can pick between. And this is really cool because you can put them in different locations that may suit your video. I kind of like the corporate theme that we're going with. So I'm gonna click on the office and pick a bright one that matches the other office that we have. And just like that, it seems a little bit more fitting. But what about this slide here? As you can see, the avatar is in, a, is in the circle mode that if we just click on full body, you'll see it like this. And now what you can do is change the background. So if you don't want this green color, you can always change it to a different shade of green, more of a pastel pink color. We can add a shadow kind of like this, increase the strength as well. And then we can move her to the side to reveal the AI in the center here. Maybe put her over this text in the bottom. And we can obviously change the text to whatever we want to have. I would like it to be a little bit bigger in the font Montserrat 
that just like that, but maybe a slight shade of gray. And then say you don't actually like this image and you want to change it, you can always click on media. And here you have media from Getty images to pixels to icons eight. So we might pick a more inspirational photo like something like this. We can drag it over the background like that right click and then send to back and just like that we change the background but what if you want to add a video you can easily click on this video and you can replace it with another video click on the videos in the top now we can scroll through this library here to look for something we like I kind of like this interconnected video right here, so I'm gonna click on it and there you have the new video. I'll change the color from the last frame and our video is shaping up to be really good. Even this slide that they generated for us actually looks really good. But as you can see, we also have a record button. And what this does is we can share any of our screens here. I'll share this Chrome tab of a news and then we can just record whatever we want on the screen. So. This one is really long. I believe it's a podcast interview or something like that. And when we're finished sharing, like we can highlight some things as well. We can stop sharing. And then you'll see we have a recording here that we can easily place into our video in case you want to share your screen. But lastly, in the change the design, you can obviously click on a new scene here if you want to add that. Then we can go into the sleek corporate videos and pick between any of these different templates. But what if you want to change the text? You you can see welcome everyone today we're diving into etc now if you want to change this you can easily select all of it you can click on edit with ai and just like that you have rewrite make it longer make it shorter change tone or summarize and you can even do a custom prompt here if you want to do that i'm gonna write make it more attention grabbing that hooks the audience and now it sounds like this ladies and gentlemen brace yourself today we're plunging head first into the future that sounds a little bit boring engaging so I'm just going to click on replace. Now you can see we have this button in the beginning. This is a slide in animation. If I click it you can see that this text here has an animation to it and you'll see that in the right side where we have slide in left. If we want to change it we can easily change the animation here where they have a bunch of different things to select between. And if we go to the next slide, you can see that we have multiple different triggers when these assets will actually fly in. So you can see here that this one will slide in on this trigger. This one will slide in on this trigger and this is happening right here. So you can easily slide these to wherever you want in the text. And now you'll see that this one is going to pop up a little bit early, but we actually want it down here. So you can do these animations easily. But what about this pause action? So usually sometimes the AI might be saying things a little bit too fast where you actually want a pause to emphasize a certain point, which is perfect after brace yourself. We also have the dictation option that for example, we're going to preview this sentence. Ladies and gentlemen, Brace yourself. We can use the dictation to actually pronounce it a different way in case the AI doesn't really say it right. For a dramatic effect, I'll say businessmen and we'll preview again. And now it sounds like this. Ladies and businessmen, brace yourself. So this could be very useful in case you can't get the AI voice to actually say that. But what type of voices can you actually add? So we have selected Ada here, our avatar. You can click on this voice here and here we have a bunch of other voices. I'll focus on the expressive ones like Alex Melodic. Ladies and businessmen, brace yourselves. We're plunging headfirst into the future. <laughs> I'm gonna remove the businessmen here and we'll try the captivating. Ladies and gentlemen, brace yourselves. Today we're plunging headfirst into the future. Sounds really good, Francesca. Ladies and gentlemen, brace yourselves. Today, we're plunging headfirst into the future. Prepare. Really like that, silvery. Ladies and gentlemen, brace yourselves. Today, we're plunging headfirst into the future, preparing your business. 
That one is also really good. So pick the one that is good for you. Now that we created the entire video, we can just click on the generate button. You will see the title, the descriptions, and you can even include the captions that will generate over the video. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to click on generate. While we're waiting, I'm going to show you the different feature called avatars and this button in the top called create avatar. Here they have three different options where we have the avatar builder, webcam avatar and studio avatar. First, I'll show you that you can customize an avatar. Let's click on Alex and customize. You can then easily add a logo. For example, say we're making videos for Microsoft. We'll click on this one. Then we can drag it on her shirt so she can become a Microsoft representative. It's kind of cool how they do it because they actually align with the shirt so it will look consistent when she's moving. So you can use her as a custom avatar through many of your different scenes. Just give it a name like Microsoft Alex and then we can generate. But the second type of avatar you can use is a webcam avatar. Here you just record from your laptop 720p max resolution chest up framing. They also have the studio avatar that I'll show you right now. You can see that creating your avatar requires three recordings of your actor speaking face to camera for two to three minutes. And the instructions here is that they have recorded in where you record at ultra high definition 4K at 29.97 frames per second. You record a video with good lighting and crisp image, no background noise and the actor clearly audible. It didn't exaggerate the head or body movement, looked directly at the camera at all times and avoided to lose see-through hairstyle. You'll also need proof of consent where you follow a script that basically says, I am consenting to you using my likeness. You can also choose the framing here of mid torso up or chest up and then you submit. This will take about 10 working days and you can get a crisp AI avatar just like some of the avatars I've shown you earlier. But then we have the voice cloning. They've just added this next level voice cloning where, where you can create an incredibly realistic model of your own voice. So let's test that out right now. I'll click on create my own voice, voice name AI Andy, language, English, gender, male, and then we can start recording. You see be in a quiet environment, use external high quality mic if you have one, take breaks often to avoid fatigue. And if you're struggling with a particular paragraph, it's okay to leave it and move on to the next. So they have 10 different paragraphs that they want me to record. So hi there friends, welcome back to our channel. Today, I'm really excited because we're exploring the beautiful world of gardening. Our topic, from seed to harvest. Let's discover the ins and outs of growing your own treasures right at home. How it looks like is that you record a bunch of different recordings here. It seems like it is 12 different paragraphs and then you will get a clone of your voice, which is really cool. But what you've all been waiting for, how does the actual new expressive avatars look? Let's take a look at the final result. Ladies and gentlemen, brace yourselves. Today, we're plunging headfirst into the future, preparing your business for the post-AGI era. Mastering AI tools isn't just important, it's essential. Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI, will soon transform every industry. Learning AI tools now means staying ahead later. Yep, I really like that. She's a lot more expressive, a lot more realistic than a lot of other AI cloning softwares and AI video generation tools I've seen before. So that's actually a huge improvement. So if you'd like to use Synthesia yourself, click the link in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. Drop a comment down below as well of what you think of this, and I'll see you in the next video.